Hello, loves. I got a message from someone saying to me that she had made a really bad mistake with her Aquarius. Um, and she thinks she might have lost the Aquarius. So she wants us to discuss it. It's a very short thing. It's not a long letter or anything like that. It's very short. And she wants us to discuss it and tell her what do we think about the situation. Okay. So um, I'm going to do the introduction and then I'm going to tell you what she said and we're going to talk about it. Okay. My name is Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to anybody and everybody who will like it too. Please drop us a positive comment in the comment section and please hit me up on uh, my, what is under, underneath this video, you can hit me up under my email, my social media, all my information is underneath this video. I would love to hear from you. I would love to do a reading for you. So please hit me up. Uh, my Patreon is underneath here. I would love for you to join us in a, in the new year coming. I want to do a lot more stuff on Patreon. Um, let me see. My Amazon wish list is underneath this video in case you want to send me a Christmas present. Um, I got a bunch of I got a bunch of stuff on here, toys and cards and stuff. So if you want to, that'll be greatly appreciated. All right, so let's talk about the Aquarius. Okay, so she didn't say much. She said that her and the Aquarius had an argument, and she hung up on the Aquarius. And ever since then, the Aquarius has not responded to her. The Aquarius has not. You know, whenever she texts or calls, the Aquarius doesn't answer. The Aquarius hasn't blocked her, but doesn't respond. Doesn't answer her text, doesn't answer the phone. None of those things. This happened about, let me see if she gave us a time period. She said week, six weeks ago. So six weeks ago, she uh, hung up on the Aquarius out of anger. And since then, the Aquarius has not responded to her. Okay. The Aquarius is 39 and she is 43. All right. Now, before this happened, she said they were talking. Everything was fine. They weren't having any arguments. They were pretty much cool. So this was their first disagreement. And out of anger, she banged on him. Well, she clicked on him. <laughs> In my day, we bang on you. <laughs> like slam the phone down. Like pussy, bam, you know. But anyway, <laughs> we don't have those landlines anymore that we used to slam down with the rotary phone. I'm, I'm showing my age here. Anyway, so she hung up on him and was angry. And then the next day, she realized that she overreacted. And she tried to apologize. So she hit him up and said, I'm sorry. I know my behavior was unacceptable. I just got really upset. I was triggered, blah, blah, blah. Can we please talk? Okay. Aquarius didn't respond. A couple days later, she did it again. I'm really sorry. A couple days later, she called. A couple days later, she sent him an email. She waited a couple weeks. Then she sent one again. And she's saying to me, has she lost him forever? This is her question. And this is my thing. Aquarius are very delicate in situations like this. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, first of all, you have to catch an Aquarius why we still care. Because if we cared in the first place, because we don't care about everything, a lot of stuff we're very nonchalant about. So if we cared about you, cared about the situation, cared about the relationship in the first place, and you don't catch us why we still care, if you wait till we've detached then we're usually gone forever. That's the real question. And this is a very delicate balancing act. I got to tell you this because you got to catch us after we're no longer angry, but before we stopped caring. This is a very sweet spot, okay? Because we need a couple days, especially if he was really hurt or angry. And it sounds like he was. So if you're really hurt or angry about something as an Aquarius, you got to give us a few days a few weeks. It depends on how angry we are. If you did something really bad, you might have to wait a year or more before you approach your Aquarius. And the reason why I say this is because an Aquarius gets angry every time you bug us again. So if you do something to me on Tuesday and you hit me up on Wednesday, I'm mad all over again. <laughs> you hit me up on Friday, I'm pissed again. So you have to wait for the Aquarius to cool off without re 
<laughs> pissing them off, you know? So you got to give them time to cool down. You can't keep on hitting the fire because it'll keep on sparking back up, you know? And then you can't wait very long because if you wait till we've detached, we've moved on to another person. We don't care anymore. We think you're a yutz, <laughs> you know? We've done research on you and we're not feeling you like that because this is what happened with me and one of my exes. It was like, I started doing research on his personality disorder, which is covert narcissism. And the more I read, the more I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> you know? So the more time you give us, the more time you're giving us to figure out that we don't want you around no more. <laughs> okay? So that's why I'm saying you got to wait until after the anger calms down, but before the Aquarius is like, no. And in this case, she said it was six weeks ago. So I think that the Aquarius is probably still angry because she kept on hitting the Aquarius up. I would give it more time. If it was me, and I can't guarantee this will work, but just as a person who is an Aquarius, this is what I would try. I would not contact that Aquarius at all for 90 days. No contact, no text messaging, wouldn't send them no inboxes. I would leave the Aquarius clean alone for 90 days. After that, if it wasn't that bad, okay, if it was just her banging on him, 90 days. After that 90 days is over, without bothering him, without pestering him, without hitting him up, I would simply send a message that says, I really would like to fix this. Is it possible? If the Aquarius does not respond, I would not darken his doorstep ever again. If he does respond, then y'all can go from there. Okay, now let's say you did something a little bit more serious to an Aquarius. You need to wait a year or more, seriously, because especially like, let me give you a little, little help. If your Aquarius is an Aquarius who posts frequently, okay, post on Instagram, post on Facebook, let's say they post little quotes and things like that. You can tell by what an Aquarius is posting in some cases how they're feeling, okay? I have a tendency to post things, and this isn't on YouTube because on YouTube, all my posts are pre-done. I got posts on YouTube up until like February. So they're pre-done. But the ones on my, my, my Facebook channel and my Instagram, the ones I put up day to day, if you watch them carefully, you might be able to pick up on my mood. Because usually what I post is based on my mood. So if you watch your Aquarius back deep, don't say nothing for about a year, and you see them in a good mood <laughs> consistently for like two weeks, this your sweet spot right here. Because they probably aren't angry anymore and not too much time has passed. So then you can hit them up and see if maybe they'll talk to you again. If it was really that bad. Um... Me personally, I'm gonna tell you what I do with Aquarius. When I piss an Aquarius off, I don't I don't ever contact them again. I leave them alone. Because I know how Aquarius are. So if they want to talk to me again, they're gonna reach out to me and then we can work on whatever the problem was. If I've apologized sincerely and the Aquarius won't talk to me, I leave them alone. That's how I handle it. You know, some people they don't want to do that, of course. They want the Aquarius to talk to them again. But that's how I handle it because I know how Aquarius are. And I don't really want to sit there and try to guess <laughs> how mad they are or not, you know? So I just leave it alone. That's what I personally do. Now, if it was somebody that was very important to me, I would try the techniques that I just talked about. But in my personal life, when an Aquarius stops talking to me, I just leave it alone. Because I know they'll be back. If they want to talk to me, they'll come back and they'll offer me or I'll offer them when they come back the opportunity to work through it. But I also know if I keep bugging them, it's going to make them matter and matter. You see? So I just back off. You know, it's like, if they want me, they'll find me. But this young lady, you know, she really wants to fix this, you know? So I'm just offering that. But just remember, guys, you have to catch an Aquarius when we care but aren't angry anymore. And it's not always easy. Another way that you can um, gauge if that shift has happened, if the Aquarius isn't mad at you anymore, if an Aquarius blocked you and they unblock you, they're not mad no more. Because once we block you, we typically don't unblock you. <laughs> That's it. We never unblock you again. So if the Aquarius unblocks you, they're not mad anymore. And you can approach. 
be cautious, <laughs> but you can approach, you know, you also can find out from other people, you know, some Aquarius will be talking to people. Now, this doesn't happen with me, but some Aquarius may be telling people how they feel about the situation. So maybe you know the Aquarius's best friend, for example, or you know the Aquarius's, you know, auntie or something like that. You might be able to get the 411 on how the Aquarius is feeling and maybe gauge it after a certain amount of time and be like, okay, so auntie said the Aquarius is less angry. It's been six months. I'm going to try tomorrow. You know, you can gauge it based on that. But like I said, I just don't do that. So I'm giving you the things that I would try if I really wanted to, but you are definitely doing something that is not, it's not the easiest it is really not because Aquarius can detach quickly. We can detach out of the blue. You know, you're, you could have a fight with your Aquarius today and they decide never to speak to you ever again. And you, no matter what you do, it's just going to piss them off and they're never going to talk to you again. You know, or you could have something happen today. And in six years, the Aquarius pop back up like nothing happened. I've done that. <laughs> I've done that a couple times. Just pop back up like, oh, well, I ain't mad no more. I, you know, <laughs> it's over. It's okay. You know, bygones can be bygones. Let's be friends again, you know. But like I said before, it depends on the Aquarius because I know some Aquarius who leave and never come back because they told me and they tell me this in the comment section too, that they have exhausted every possibility by the time they walk. I don't do that. Sometimes I walk a little too fast. Sometimes I'm a little too impulsive. I'm an Aquarius. I'm a double Aquarius. Aquarius sun, Sagittarius moon, and Aquarius rising. So I, I'm very impulsive. So sometimes I will p cut somebody off and then six years later be like, well, maybe that wasn't that bad, you know, because I was so impulsive and so angry at that time. But the other Aquarius tell me that their logic takes over. They have a more of a cool logic. And they give the person chance after chance after chance. I cut them off after the first problem. <laughs> I cut them off before we got to two, okay? And the other Aquarius lasted until 90, all right? And so by the time they get to 91, <laughs> the 91st issue with you, they're done. You see, so it depends on, that's why I said it depends on the kind of Aquarius. An Aquarius with a water moon or an Aquarius with an earth moon might not move as quickly as I do, you know, and that's the kind of person who's more likely to take you, you know, back into your life. Somebody who's moved quickly and then is sorry about it is more likely to take you back into their life than somebody who gave you every chance and you kept screwing up. Then they're not going to do it again. So that's my advice. Catch an Aquarius while they still care. All right. Now we're going to take a look at our positive comments. This is from Desi1, or is that DZ1? The point is, Aquarians learn from their mistakes and about the emotions. We've been there and done that. We can't be repeating cycles when we know how it ends. Whoo! That's not smart. And what we are known for is being smart. Yeah, that's true. And I agree with that. You know, repeating cycles, it's like you didn't get the lesson. That's when the cycles repeat. You ever meet somebody and it seems like they always date the same person, but the person is different? Like every time they get a dude, he's abusive. Every time dude get a chick, she's toxic or a cheater, you know? And they keep dating the same person over and over. You know, for 10, 15 years and every year or two, they got another problem of the same nature. They're repeating cycles. They're not getting the lesson. So she's 100%, uh, he or she is 100% correct with that. Darrell Bivens. Hello, Darrell. The beauty about truth is that you can't attempt to bury it, destroy it, or block it out. And yet, any and all attempts will fail. Truth will forever shine bright for it stands on its own and needs no validation. That is 100% correct. I love that. So with that being said, <laughs> it's time for us to wrap up. You come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.